Ubisoft appears to be approving on a key aspect of Valhalla, the main character, Eivor. Odyssey had mixed reviews about the main protagonist, mainly that it should focus on one protagonist instead of creating two to choose from. I would agree with that, because Sancho should have been the main character. I mean, just for Alexios' voice alone, he should have been scrapped. Time to talk! Here is all the info from McDevitt, and if you don't know who that is, he was the lead writer for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, so that's exciting for Valhalla since Black Flag is one of the most beloved entries in the AC series. We want our character Eivor to exist in a coherent space and have a coherent personality, so that by the time you get to the end of our game, no matter which little path you've taken through our game, you always feel that Eivor was Eivor. It's fantastic that Ubisoft is putting an extra focus on Eivor and his or her personality. AC has had some amazing characters throughout the series such as Ezio, Edward Kenway, Connor, and my favorite Altair. Even Desmond was a favorite character of mine and arguably the main character of the original series. Layla hasn't really done Desmond justice yet and I hope that McDevitt can really make her character shine in Valhalla. In the same video, McDevitt also had this to say, Whether you choose male or female and both options are valid in our game, you always feel that Eivor is coherent and complete. And I think the result will speak for itself. There's a lot of cool mystery and intrigue around the character Eivor, and we can't wait for you to dive into that mystery. This is a great quote that leads us nicely into our next segment. Ubisoft is working very hard on the story of Valhalla, and apparently they are trying to revolutionize how the story is told, and not just for the Assassin's Creed series, but for any game. Here's the first part of what McDevitt said in the interview. We do approach narrative in this game in a very unique way, and I think it'll be one of the standout aspects of the game. The structure of the narrative, he said. Because the structure of the narrative is different, it relied on structuring story experiences in a way I haven't seen in any game as far as I can think of. This will definitely be a unique story structure for Assassin's Creed fans. Honestly guys, I have no idea what this means. I thought the storytelling through the Animus with relatives that were assassins was unique. It sounds like Ubisoft is going all in and if it ends up working, it could be the most amazing storytelling we've ever seen, whatever it is. Or on the flip side, it could be really awful. I feel like there's no in between on this one. But we learn a little more in the second part of the quote. But I would even dare to say it's quite unique for any game. I don't think people have experienced a story in quite this way. How we present it to you, how you consume it, it's very unique. It relied on being willing to experiment with a different way of presenting information to players and leading you through the world. So Ubisoft is experimenting in Valhalla with a new unique way to tell a story. I don't think it's too late for such a gamble in the series either. Assassins need something more and I believe this is it. If Ubisoft can pull out one of the most epic stories in Valhalla, an AC game that I believe has the most hype of any game in the series, it will be a big win for them in the franchise. A feature nobody saw coming that will be in Valhalla is flighting. If you don't know what this is, it's basically Viking rap battles. It sounds ridiculous, but these happen during the time period. From the Assassin's Creed Twitter, flighting, this was something they did back then, both on the north side and also the Saxon side in England. You know this is one of the fun things to do when you're sitting around in a mead hall. People will start drinking and kind of rhythmically insult one another for the cheers of the crowd around them. So it appears that when you decide to go for a nice mead at the hall, you'll be able to rhythmically attack people as a fun side thing. Or maybe it could be used in missions to possibly get some info if someone challenged you to a flight. There could be many uses for this in Valhalla. Continuing on the topic, Ismail said, This is based on history. There's even a saga written that this happened between Thor and Odin, where Odin destroys Thor through rhythmic insults. It's part of the time period, it's part of the culture. I know they said that Valhalla is going to be more grounded, but it would be awesome if we got to flight against Odin or Thor as Eivor, even if it was just a dream scene or something. Or maybe that's how we get Mjolnir. We Viking rap battle Thor for it. I wouldn't mind that. But we did get some info about how it'll work in the game. You'll have multiple choices in front of you and you have to fight the right one that matches the insult, the one that has the right rhythm. I'm assuming this is going to be a timed mechanic kind of thing where we'll have like two seconds to decide which line we'll pick. The rhythm part is going to be interesting because if it's just text, you'll have to read it with the rhythm in mind, which could add a nice difficulty to the fighting. It's going to be something very new to the series and I can't wait to destroy some people in rapping. But when can we play is the real question. Well, there was a release date leak a few weeks back. It was from Amazon Italy and it said that Valhalla was coming out October 15th but it was quickly changed to December 31st. October 15th isn't an outrageous date either. It could very well fall on that day. If you look back on a few of the past releases, Odyssey came on October 5th, Origins was October 27th, and Syndicate was October 23rd. So the October 15th date could very well be the day, but it's safe to say it will be October early November as usual. I'm sure during E3 2020 livestream we'll find out. Also the game on Xbox will ship with smart delivery where if you buy it on current gen you will get the free upgrade to the Series 1X, all saves and data. For PlayStation though, they have not released any info about this. Well guys, that's going to be all in this video. In the coming weeks we should have much more info coming out. Valhalla is shaping up to be a truly remarkable if Ubisoft can nail everything they're appearing to be doing. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the big changes and don't forget to drop a sub to keep up with all the AC info. Until next time, peace.